In Job chapter 38, verse 19, God said, Where is the way where light dwelleth? That's an interesting passage because light doesn't stay in a place. It's in a way. It's always moving. It was just this year that they figured out a way to slow light down. Some professors at Harvard University, Dr. Howe, a Danish professor, slowed light down to one mile per hour. And uh, last month, wasn't it, where the uh, newspaper articles came out that said they've been able to speed light up to 300 times the speed of light. We cover that on video number seven. We got all the documentation on that when you get into, you know, because cr critics will say, if the stars are 10 billion light years away, the universe must be 10 billion years old. Well, there's a lot of problems with a statement like that. You can't measure 10 billion light years away, first of all. You can only measure maybe 20 to 100 light years max. Secondly, we don't know that the speed of light's always been a constant. Matter of fact, we now know that it hasn't. It isn't a constant. The speed of light is variable. Einstein's theory was the speed of light is constant and time changes. No, well, maybe so. But maybe Albert was wrong. Maybe time is the constant and the speed of light changes. It appears right now that he was wrong, at least on that point. He's a brilliant man. I'm certainly not as smart as he is. But it, certainly we know that the speed of light is not a constant. And the third point I make on the starlight question is, if God can make a full-grown man and a full-grown woman in a full-grown garden, he can make stars and light at the same time. A full-grown universe. So it's not a problem at all. So this is neat how that light dwells in a way. It's always moving. He didn't say, what is the, where is the place where light dwells? Because light doesn't stay in a place. If we shut the lights off in this room, right now there's 10 lights in here, 12, 14 lights, putting off light, okay? And this gets into a long discussion, which we won't get into here. There are two different words for light in the Hebrew language and only one in the English. I would say that is a light, but it produces light. We only have one word. They have two words. Or, O-R is the Hebrew word, the English equivalent of the Hebrew word, which means... Um, the light itself, and M-A-O-R, I believe, is the word for the light source. So God made the light in Genesis chapter 1, the first few verses. Later on, he made the light source. Two different Hebrew words, carefully distinguished there. Fascinating footnotes on that in the Defender's Bible, Henry Morris's uh, stuff right here. So light doesn't stay in a place, it's in a way. It would have been scientifically inaccurate for God to say, where is the place where light dwells? Because light doesn't dwell in a place. Light is in a way, it's always moving. Now, nobody understands what light is. And I taught physics for years, I'm telling you. As far as I know, nobody knows what light is. We know what it does. We can do things with it, but we don't know what it is. Is it a wave or a, part, a particle or a photon? Those don't really describe what it is. And so if you get an answer to that, I'd love to hear it.